Okay, so I ran out of time with the buzzer beater. I didn't quite sync the shot, but the range is all our Y values. And all of the Y values, if I don't move the graph around, all of our Y values are greater than or equal to negative eight. So that's why we have the bracket with the negative eight towards positive infinity, which just looks like the eight fell over. All right, we are gonna graph what? from start to finish. Graph, state the domain and range of the function. Y equals two X squared minus eight X plus six. We're actually gonna to have to factor this one. So looking for a greatest common factor, as we always should, I notice that two goes into all of those terms. So we're gonna factor out a two. So y equals two, two times x squared is two x squared, two times negative four x is negative eight x, and two times positive three would give you that positive six. And then we're looking for factors of three that can add up to negative four, that would be negative three and negative one. Believe it or not, we've done the hard work. So A is two. P in the formula, because here is the formula if it's not written elsewhere. It's A parentheses X minus P parentheses X minus Q. Sorry, I jammed it in there with that green stuff. So P is going to be 3, because remember, if it says minus, we've got to treat it like a positive number. And then Q, it says minus 1, so our Q is positive 1. These are the x-intercepts, 3 and 1. Or if you wanted them in coordinate form, it'd be 3, 0, and 1, 0 but I'll take either one right now. So we'll go ahead and plot those points. Three, zero, one, two, three, one, zero, right there. Now, how will we find the axis of symmetry? We just gotta find what's right in the middle of three and one, the two dots we have there. Those are easy to find, right? Right in the middle of three and one is two. But if you didn't know what was right in the middle, you can always add those X intercepts together and divide by two. So three plus one is four, divided by two is two. So this will be our axis of symmetry at X equals two. Remember to find the vertex, you take that coordinate, whatever you've got for the axis of symmetry, and you substitute it in for X. So if we go into the original or the factored equation, let's go with the factored equation. We'll just look cooler. Y equals two parentheses X minus three parentheses X minus one. So two minus three is negative one. Two minus one is one. Two times negative one is negative two times one is negative two. So our vertex would be at two, negative two. And remember, we got the two from right up there, the axis of symmetry. So two, negative two is right there. We have enough to graph our parabola right there. We know it opens upward because A is positive. If that was negative, it would open downward. Domain for all of these is gonna be all real numbers. And then the range starts at that vertex. So the vertex is at negative two. It's at two negative two. So really, we focus on the y coordinate there. Starts at negative two, and it goes towards positive infinity. We should eventually be able to figure that out without even looking at the graph. Because we know it opens upward, so it would go towards positive infinity, and we know that the vertex would be our minimum point. So it started negative two on the y-axis. Let's try out more of these.